Coach, a 99-95 victory over the Raging Cages this afternoon. Important, obviously, to get back in a win column. But that first half, your team played about as well as it can. Uh, we've gotten off to some great starts this year in other games, but that's the best one I've seen all season. You know, phenomenal start. I mean, uh, really played well offensively, both in the, uh, you know, offensive transition, fast breaking, early offense, and half-court offense. I mean, it was unbelievable how, how well we played in that in that first half offensively until later on in the half, and and uh, Lafayette made a run. But uh, that was certainly probably the best we've gotten off to. Obviously, uh, you all is going to tell the team that Kenny Gant really played well in the second half, and they made a run. And I thought your team showed a lot of maturity here late in the game after the two slipped away on the road. They closed this one out, especially at the free throw line. You know, we we we, uh, we struggled there in, in the second half for a while, uh, and. and I have to remind myself, and I did remind myself, uh, you know, on the sidelines, and because I've said this to other people all all this year, this team sometimes going to play in runs, and I got to I got to deal with it internally. <laughs> I don't like to, but I have to I have to you know, man up and and understand that uh, I've got to make this adjustment. Uh, because we don't have a lot of low post points, okay? We don't have a lot of offensive rebound points. Uh, and, and so we, we don't get those. We, we're living and dying off shots, attacking the rim on breaks, free throw shooting, threes. Sometimes they're not going to go down. And, and we're going to, you know, we're going to, we're going to coach for a minute there. And, and uh, you know, those are the moments where uh, I got to be patient. And so, uh, and I have been, and I have, it's tough, but I have been. And, uh, and then we kind of find our way again. That's kind of what happened in the second half. As, as much of a struggle as it was at times there in the second half, we did make some plays too in the second half, late in the second half. We made some plays, and we've, do, we've done that in some home games here where we've gotten off the big leads, kind of lost them, but then made some plays when we needed them. Uh, that's a sign really and truly of older players, experienced players, and we got a lot of that. We talked before about one of the strengths of this team is the even distribution and scoring. You had five guys in double figures. I know you're pleased about that. Very good to see that. Uh, you know, uh, obviously Deshaun and, and Mike Erdo, but Travis got in there tonight and and uh, JD, you know, at double figure. But Andre Washington with 12 points. Big, big uh, plus for us. I thought Andre played well tonight, really, really well. Guarded well, rebounded well. He really helped us. When the game was on the line, you knew your team had to continue to score points with the way they were getting to the free throw line. Boy, Michael Erdl made some big shots from the wings, some big threes as well. Every time you needed an answer, he really came up with a big shot. Well, Mike and Deshaun, both of them. Uh, Mike made a corner three. He made a mid-range, big shots. Deshaun made a big three. He didn't make a lot of them today, but he made a big one. Missed one, loose ball, got it back and then took it again. That was a big one. And then he hit free throws down the stretch. So uh, those two, you know, through five conference games are playing well. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, they put on, they played well today, really and truly, both of them. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm glad they're on our team. We've talked all season about how much fun it is to watch this team. Great crowd today, over 4,000 in the house. And I think they certainly got their money's worth. Well, they did. I hope they did. And they, they you know, when you have some a uh, good many people in this, uh, Coliseum. It gets loud here. I've been I've been here since 1978. I've heard it loud in here, and it can get loud. It got loud today. It sounded good today, and uh, I hope they enjoyed it, and I uh, hope they'll come back. Uh, Travis Munning hit some milestones this afternoon. He became just the fourth player in school history to score a thousand points and have 800 rebounds. That's a testament of how he's developed as a player. Well, that's I mean, uh, he's the fifth guy to do it. Fourth player. Fourth, fourth player to do that. But that just tells you right there. Anytime you're the fourth player to do something historical in a program, uh, you know, it's special. And so, you know, Travis has had a really good career here, and I'm, I would imagine he's going to break some more records, you know, before the end of the season. Great way to kick off a three-game homestand. You got Troy and South Alabama next week. Obviously, a chance here at home to get back and push, make a push in the league standings. And obviously, important to protect the home court. Well, yeah, I don't think right now we need to be worrying about the standings because still we're not even halfway in the conference season yet. And what I will, uh, and, and then you don't want to, you know, if you're not in first place or whatever, get your team get down. We, you know, we need the one game uh, mentality. Next game, it's kind of the way we've done it all year. And uh, it, it's a home game, and we have held, held serve at home. We had lost at home this year, and that'll be my, my theme. You know, uh, we're going for the next win. It's at home. We've been good at home. We need to play well again. And, and uh, you know, so we'll have a good preparation for uh, Troy and hopefully play well next Thursday.